Okay, today I'm going to make a quick video of my 5D Mark III workflow that has uh, changed from using Final Cut Pro 7 and transcoding with 5D to RGB and uh, switching to Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, the Final Cut Pro 7 workflow was working fine for me, but it was just uh, extremely slow and having to transcode all the media and basically losing hours of time transcoding during the day, you know, came to a point where I had to make a decision, you know, whether to go to Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro 10. I chose Final Cut Pro 10, um, and I really enjoyed it. You know, it took a while. It took a you know a good week to sort of get a you know get used to it and sort of forget the old way of doing things. But after using it for a little bit over a month, I've really gotten to love it and it's a really straightforward and simple workflow and I think it's it's a workflow that is for people that are editing um, and uh, you know outputting directly to the web for the web you know people that are doing you know you know high-end projects or feature films I don't think Final Cut Pro is, is ready for that but for people that are going to the web like myself it's a perfect workflow so let's just import a file here. Uh, the only thing I do here is create optimized media. So this takes your H.264 and transcodes it uh, into ProRes 422. Okay, let's just take a little portion of a clip here. Load it into the timeline. Okay, so once it's in there, let's just say that I'm finished. This is my, and you can notice here it's actually transcoding in the background. So that's really quickly done. Okay, let's just do, let's apply a little color correction here, a quick little primary color correction. Okay, just raise the exposure, get the most out of the dynamic range, lower the blacks, raise the whites, let's lower the midtones a little bit. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that's the before, this is the after. So just a basic primary cor uh, correction for just an example here. So once I've corrected, and usually I apply a, another, I usually apply a sharpening um, mask or something, but for this example we don't have to do that. And the next thing I like to do is reduce the noise and I use neat videos noise reduction tool let's launch that and as you can see the neat video plugin even if you've applied a color correction it actually uh, takes the raw image to reduce the noise so you can either reduce the noise first and, and apply co color correction the reason I like to apply the color correction first is once you've applied the neat video plugin it kind of slows down the uh, computer so let's just apply an auto profile here that looks good and that's it it's really cleaned it up well, great right now right there it's now filtered this is the before and after I don't know if you can notice this but it's really done an amazing job neat video is definitely a, a must-have plugin for anybody using um, wanting to clean up some footage Okay, so there we go, that's all done. Okay, so now once we're finished, we've done the color correction, we've done the uh, noise reduction, the next step is to export. And I like to export by sending to compressor. Compressor gives me a lot more, a lot more options than just exporting inside Final Cut Pro 10. And right here, I've already got a um, export that I've saved for Vimeo 1080p export. Let's load that in. It's a little bit slow because of the screen recorder right now. Okay, and destination for now, let's just put it on the desktop. Okay, submit. 
turn on the share right there share monitor we cannot quit out of compressor because we've opened up the uh, share monitor right there and here you can see your uh, processing so this is the basic thing I mean it's a it's, it's a really quick workflow simple straightforward and for people going straight to the web I think Final Cut Pro 10 does an awesome job you know I don't think it's ready for prime time I don't think it's ready for the uh, big Hollywood movies and everything but uh, for people going straight to the web it's awesome okay so that's done and here's our um, finished video right here Trans uh, from Final Cut Pro 10 some color correction noise reduction into compressor and there we go that's the little clip we've done so there it is that's just the that's my workflow it's um, definitely a lot better than I was used with Final Cut Pro 7. I loved Final Cut Pro 7, but for me, I think this is the future, and I think this is the way to go. I mean, the speed is awesome, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post a comment. Take care from now. Bye.